So, hey, saints, it's Sister with the Testimony. I am on the um, dam side of the Wright Patman Lake in Bowie County, Texas. It's south of Texarkana. Uh, last year, uh, we checked this out in the summertime, and this ditch right here was completely dry. Uh, now you can see it is full. It's completely full. It's probably like an overflow ditch. And um, so technically, uh, we all need to have those overflows so that um, if we've got some stuff that we need to work out, it can kind of spill over into uh, a different uh, area. In other words, uh, toxicity, uh, spiritual toxicity, bitter angerness, rage. Um, all these things tend to build up saints and there needs to be an overflow area where you can just kind of let them just be poured out and uh, hopefully they won't come back. They'll just dry up. But, you know, that does entail you doing something. So as we're um, coming up on the dam, you can see the top of the, the thingy right there. I um, wanted to bring you by today and just show this to you to show you how the water is just completely um, just raging. It is absolutely phenomenal how much water is coming out. So you can literally see uh, the truck going over the top right there. Um, and I'm here at the wall. Uh, you know, there's people that are going to be uh, fishing. It's kind of interesting, kind of exciting. Um, they're, they're fishing. Yeah. Cool. Check out those rods. But, uh, seriously though, when you see the water, you're gonna, you're gonna understand. It's like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Uh, there's been so much rain in East Texas. And, um, honestly, saints, um, I don't know how much more we can take. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Um, when I came here last summer to check this out, all right, now look at it. This is the, um, the measure, okay? It's at 32 feet. All right, if you look across the way there on the bank, there are steps going down into... Um, the water um, almost all the way to the water um, well we're getting a little blurry there let me back up um, saints I'm serious this water is probably thir easily um, 25 plus feet higher than it was um, in the summertime we came by and there's a like a wall right there. You can barely see it, how it comes out of the center. And there's two alleys. Uh, that wall right there, you can't even see it. I mean, this is crazy. Look at how forceful this water is. And I'm telling you, you got people that are, oh, look. Sitting or standing on wall is prohibited. Well, you know, if you fall in, you're going to drown. It's just that simple. Uh, think about that, saints. Look at that water, the mighty rushing water. And again, you got people out here fishing, and they're like, wow, is there anything in that water? Um, psh, the poor little fish, how are they going to swim in it? Um, one of the reasons that I wanted to come out and video this today is a scripture that came to me that when the enemy comes in like a flood, saints, when the enemy comes in like a flood, woo, the Lord himself lifts up a banner against him. And uh, honestly, saints, that banner, talking about a flag or some mark of, excellence that he has honestly placed upon us uh, it's like you know that flag um, a banner a distinguishing mark that the Lord has set upon us when that enemy comes in like a rushing mighty 
flood and I'll bet you some folks have been seriously uh, talking to the Lord about all the flood waters and kind of figured uh, you know I see the animals lining up two by two at this point um, we're just gonna have to get the ark rebuilt the Saints think about that when the enemy comes in like a flood the Lord himself will lift up a standard against him I just want to encourage you today that no matter how rough the waters get you don't have to drown in anger you don't have to drown in hate and resentment and bitterness and just all of the drama that life brings us you do not have to drown you can literally have that overflow that spillway um, maybe you just need to dig a ditch and say Lord I'm just gonna cast my cares on you Lord, I am not about to have to deal with these rushing mighty waters, the flood waters. Lord, I'm feeling, you know, some people are feeling just like they're they're ready to jump in or drown anyhow, but saints, the Lord is the one that's got you. He's the one that is restoring you, reconciling you. Um, there's so much drama going on this day and age. There's so much uh, trash that's being um, left in the churches today. And I'm not talking about physical trash. I'm talking about spiritual trash, spiritual garbage. Uh, it's like a flood inundating the church of the Lord God Almighty, the ecclesia. It's like we're being flooded with spiritual evil and ugliness and people have no idea that the Lord said very specifically look at that when that flood water comes up the Lord himself will lift up a banner against it the enemy can come in like a flood but the Lord said I have a banner and Lord thank you that we're the ones that are supposed to be holding that banner high uh, just like these guys with these fishing poles they're holding their poles up today that's their banner today they're like i'm they're letting everybody know they're fishing okay now the flag that i would hold up is a white flag of peace <laughs> peace surrender surrender yeah so if you will surrender to the lord if you surrender saints then when that enemy comes in like a flood you're going to have the peace of god ruling and reigning in you a sister with a testimony at Wright Patman Dam and uh, this water oh my gosh you're talking about to the bottom you're talking about 30 plus feet um, it ain't too far from over spilling the sides guys so when the enemy comes in and you feel like you're drowning in despair just say Lord Jesus help me where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And uh, I seriously don't want to be in this flood waters, physically or spiritually, saints. So seriously, let the Lord be your banner. Let his peace be your banner. Let the grace and the mercy and the truth of Christ Jesus rule and reign in you. And when the floodwaters come, saints, the Lord's got you. I declare and decree over you today. If you're in despair, if you're in doubt, if you're angry, if you're sick, if you're afflicted, if you're depressed, if you're down, whatever it might be, I declare and decree that the Lord is lifting up a banner even now. Call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. He'll get you out of that flood water. He'll lift up that standard that banner that flag he will lift up that standard allow the lord god almighty to be that standard and if you measure up saints it doesn't matter how high the flood waters get the lord's got you even in this the lord has got you saints let the Lord God Almighty be the one that rescues you. In Psalm 91, he said that he would rescue you 
and he would keep you and he would never you know seriously the angels will bear you up in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone so I'm sure the Lord can keep you from the floodwaters of life I know all the rain has caused everybody to to think about the water rising and the mud and the muck and the mire but he said in all this water because it's life-giving it's life bringing let the water of the Lord God Almighty wash you and cleanse you and as you call upon the name of the Lord that mighty flood that the enemy sends in it's not going to be able to overtake you overwhelm you or drown you because you are firm in the Lord that's a lot of water that's what it feels like sometimes saints look at that that's what it sounds like a rushing mighty flood the saints I just want to encourage you today the Lord is your Savior he is your beacon of light he is the Holy One of Israel and it doesn't matter how violent those waters get when that enemy comes in like a flood the Lord God Almighty's got you I pray for you today Saints that the enemy will not overtake you the enemy will not overwhelm you the enemy will not flood you and inundate you with ugliness with despair with drama I speak life to you and life more abundantly Jesus said that the enemy comes but to steal kill and destroy and I have come says the Lord that you might have life and life more abundantly I declare and decree over you saints that where the Spirit of the Lord is there is freedom I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you to hide protect and keep you in all your ways and I declare and decree that the flood of the enemy might come in but the Lord will lift up a standard against that enemy and as you call upon the name of the Lord God Almighty he will save you he will rescue you he will honor you with long life and he will use you for his glory and for his honor let the peace of God even in the turbulence of life rule and reign and no matter how high the flood waters get saints no matter how high rest in the Lord God Almighty and I just speak that the washing of the water of the word of the Lord God Almighty will wash you and cleanse you that you've received him as your Lord and Savior and that blood has washed you and cleansed you and that that word will continually wash and cleanse you. He said in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, if you confess your sins, he is just and faithful to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Take the word of the Lord and let it wash over you. Let the living water wash over you and you won't have to worry about the floods of the enemy. God bless you. I love you. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over you. The Lord God Almighty, God in the flesh. His blood reconciles, restores, and saves. Sister with a testimony. God bless y'all. I love you. I love you. I love you.